brought out in Lamentations 4 and 17, the Lord said, we have watched for a nation that could not save us, right? So read that part again. The Lord said, our people trust in what? Because he despised this word, right? And trust in oppression. And our people trust in oppression, man, right? How many of our people trusted in Joe Biden? Right. He said, if you don't vote for me, then you're not black. Right. Well, nigga, wait. How many of our people voted for uh, Joe Biden? Right. We're still in the exact same condition. Word. Joe Biden has not did a damn thing for you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. You know? If Joe crack Biden crack. cared about our people, why is the so-called Native American still living on reservations? Right. Right. Why is the so-called uh, Hispanics uh, can't even cross the damn border? Right. Right. They stole this land from the so-called Mexicans. And then they put up a damn border and tell him he can't even come into his own land. Right. Right. But y'all want to uh, vote for damn Joe Biden. Right. Read on. And trust in oppression right, and read. perverseness. Right. Read. And stay thereon. Right. Read down to verse uh, uh, 13. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. As a what? As, as a, a breach, breach ready, ready to, to fall. fall. As a breach ready to fall. That's like if you had on some baggy ass pants without a belt, right? So the Lord said, if you continue your in your, in, uh, in your iniquity, you destined for destruction, right? So that was it on that. Uh -huh. All right, keep reading. Swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking coming suddenly at an instant. Right, coming suddenly at an instant. So your destruction go come suddenly at an instant. That's why the Lord said he coming as a thief in the night, right? So that's why we came out here to give our people the warning. We came out here to blow the trumpet in the midst of Zion to give our people the warning to let our people know that they have to repent and come oh back to the commandments. Right? Let's, let's stay on these pieces. Huh. Right? Let me get the book of uh right, where you at? Isaiah 30. Yeah. Right, let me get the book of Psalm chapter 31, verse 30. So like it, 31 and uh verse 1. Right, let me get uh Psalm 31 and 1. Right? So it's time for you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans to stop trusting in your oppression, right? The so-called white man is not going to save you in these last days when they bring forth martial law, right? The so-called white man is not going to save our people when they shut down all these damn people, right? The so-called white man is not going to save our people when they shut down all these damn gas stations, right? Right. So our people have to stop trusting in your oppression. We're going to show you who to trust in according to this Bible. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 31, and verse 1. Bring it out. In thee, O Lord. In thee, O what? In, in thee, o, o Lord. Lord. In thee, O Joe Biden. In, in thee, thee o, Lord. o Lord. In thee, O Donald Trump. In, in thee, O Lord. Lord. In thee, O Obama. In, in thee, O Lord. Lord. Hey, uh, David said, in thee, O Lord. Read. In thee, O Lord. Do I put my trust? Do I put my what? Do, Do I, I put, put my, my trust? trust? Do I trust in Esau? Do I put, put my trust? Do I trust in America? Do I put my trust? Do I trust in the stimulus check? Do I put my trust? Do I trust in government assistance? Do I put my trust? And the Lord, hey, King David said, and the old Lord, do I put my trust? When has the so-called white man ever delivered our people right. any destruction that we've been through? Right? When has the so-called white man ever delivered our hey, people? Mano, dame dos minutos. Right? It's not happening. Our people have to wake up from this damn illusion, right? He said, in thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. The Lord is the one that delivered us from the hand of the Egyptians. The Lord is the one that delivered us from the hand of the Assyrians. The Lord is the one that delivered us from the hand of the Babylonians. And in these last days, if you repent and come back to the commandments, the Lord is going to deliver us from the hand of the so-called white man. Right. Right? We don't. Let me never be ashamed. We not gonna be ashamed. See, a lot of our people are ashamed because they put their trust in Joe Biden and Joe Biden let our people down, right? Our people put their trust in Obama and Obama let our people down, right? But we gonna put our trust in the Lord. We gonna put our trust in the great and terrible power that destroyed every single nation for his people. Right. Right? Uh, that was it on that. All right, here we go. Let me never be ashamed. Right. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Do what? Deliver me in thy righteousness. And that's how you go get true deliverance and true salvation. Right? By returning from your sins. Repenting from your sins and coming back to these commandments. I got I just got a question.
I, I, I hold up before I answer that question, but it also says uh -huh. in the Bible, "Thou shalt love thy neighbor." Okay, that's so good. So why is it contradicting itself? Hold on. That's good because when it says "love thy neighbor," who is your neighbor according to the Bible? You get that little Everybody. Bible. Is that what the Bible says? Okay. Well, that, well, what is it? See, well, look. So the, the thing is, okay. I understand where you're coming from mm -hmm. because a lot of us, we grew up in the church. When we went to church. They, they give us a false religion when they tell us that God loves everybody. Jesus no, Christ. No, no, they don't say that. Well, no, that's what the pastor used to tell us in church. Okay. They said your, your neighbor is talking about every race of people. That's not what it means. So we're going to go into the Bible and show you who your neighbor yeah, is. Everybody's not God's child. Right, that's right. And everybody's not your neighbor. Let me get Leviticus 19 and 17. Already there. Bring that up. Okay. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Let me ask you a question. In the book of Leviticus, who, who wrote the book of Leviticus? No, no. Moses. It was Moses. Oh, he so, won't his, he won't his uh, father. No, it was Moses, right? So Moses, who who was Moses speaking to in the book of uh in the book of Leviticus? Who uh, was the audience? Uh, the Israelites. That's right, the Israelites. So Moses is speaking to the Israelites. So let's see what Moses told the Israelites. Read that. Verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So the Lord told the Israelites. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Who is your brother? Who would be their brother? If I'm an Israelite, I mean, my brother would be who? I mean, you can interpret that in type of way, though. Now, I'm asking. If I'm an Israelite, who would be my brother? The Israelites. The Israelites, right? <laughs> Keep reading. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Wait, hold on. Rebuke thy who? Rebuke thy neighbor. Rebuke thy neighbor, because remember, you said, you said, uh, what, what was your question again? You said that we gotta love our neighbor. So okay, so the Lord said, "Thou shalt love thy brother." He said, "Rebuke thy neighbor," but we gonna show you who your neighbor is. You know, and not suffer sin upon him. Okay, read. Thou shalt not avenge, uh -huh. nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Wait, who is your neighbor? The children of thy people. No, the children of all. People. The children of thy people. So he said, "Your neighbor is your brother, which is the children of your people." Right? So you asked us, right? You, the, the Bible says not to hate your uh, your neighbor. But according to the Bible, my neighbor will be all y'all brothers standing right here because y'all of my uh, people. Okay. My neighbor is not the so-called white man. So, so, hold on, let, hold on, let me okay, finish. My neighbor is not the so-called Chinese. Yeah. My neighbor is not the Arab. My neighbor is the full child of the children of Israel. Yeah. See that? Did that answer your question? No. They really don't. I mean, it kind of don't. But, but it really don't though, cause, cause awesome. it didn't say not to dislike the Chinese, dislike <laughs> the white people. But well, what did the Lord say in Romans 9, 13? He said, Jacob have our love, but Esau have our what? But, I mean, you can, you can kind of take that as you, you know, I mean, you can flip flop that though. And they don't say hate. I mean, he hated Esau, but they don't say hate the whole race of white people. That's what it, that's what it means, cause listen, cause listen. When it says Jacob have our love, but Esau have our hated, uh -huh. Jacob and Esau already passed away. When well, he wrote that in the book of yeah. Malachi, this was this hundreds one. and hundreds of years after these two men already passed away, right? So when the Lord said he loved Jacob, he's not talking about the old, just the actual man Jacob. Why? Why he's not? talking about the children of Jacob, his whole nation, Okay. right? So. No, it's not though. It's talking about Jacob and Esau. But it's not talking about. But, all right, but, let me, but, let me but, put I it. Mean, let me put it in the context. Let me say this. Though. All right, go ahead. He did love Jacob in the twelve tribes. Twelve tribes that Jacob come from. Right. But it's not really saying that. Okay, he hated Esau, but he's not saying that he hated everything that comes from Esau. Okay. Hold okay. on. I mean, because God is a loving God, so why would he? Hate like that. Let me ask you. According okay, to the Bible, that's good. Let me ask you a question. If I hated a race of people, mm -hmm. well, let's say, if I loved the race of people, mm -hmm. would I exterminate them from off the face of the earth? Let me say. Let so me, look. Let me, let me, okay, let me put it in this. Look, you got a family, right? You got you got a wife and kids. Yeah. No, I don't. All right. So let's say you had a wife and kids, right? If I had love for you, would I kill you and your whole family? Would I destroy you and your whole family? No. All right, so let's give me uh, Obadiah 1 and 15. Let me get so, Obadiah 1 and 15. So you saying that 
So you saying you're trying to say he, he destroyed he saw it. Okay, man. I'm no, we gonna go into the precept. Because if he you, did, hold on, hold on. it don't have nothing to do with no, all the white no, people here now. No, 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 listen. That's not what I'm saying. We're gonna bring out this precept and you tell me what this means. Because like I said, if I love you, would I exterminate you from off the face of the earth? Would I kill you and your whole family? You said no, right? Uh -huh. Alright, so let's read this. Obadiah 115. Uh, Verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Right, so the Lord said the day, the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. The heathen is talking about all these other nations outside of the nation of Israel. Read. Uh, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. So he said, as all the other nations have done, it shall be done unto them. So all these other nations had a part in putting us in slavery, right? We know. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Right, read on. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, right, read. so shall all the heathen drink continually. Keep reading. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. Right. And they shall be as though they had not been. Keep reading. But upon Mount Zion. But upon who? Upon Mount Zion. Mount Zion represents the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Read. Shall be deliverance. So the Lord said upon Mount Zion is deliverance. So we are the only ones that qualify in getting salvation if you repent and keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Read. And there shall be holiness. Uh -huh, read. And the house of Jacob. And the house of Jacob is talking about the children of Israel, right? He shall possess their possession. So we're going to have to possess all these other nations because at one point in time, all these other nations possessed our people. Read. And the house of Jacob. Uh huh shall be a fire right and the house of joseph a flame so the house of jacob and the house of joseph represents all the 12 tribes of the children of israel but let's see what the lord said uh, about the children of Edom. read and the house of esau and the house of what and the, the house, house of esau, esau. Now, the house of esau that's not just talking about the man esau that's talking about his houses who represent his descendants so all the descendants of the children of esau, uh, esau read the house of esau uh -huh. For stubble. For what? For stubble. Read. And they shall kindle in them. Right. And devour them. So the Lord said he's going to devour them. That's going to be their punishment. Read. And there shall be not any remaining. So what does it mean when it said there's not going to be any remaining? If I had a whole uh, pile of pieces and I said, look, after I'm done with this piece, there ain't going to be any remaining. What does that mean? I mean, I think that's No, hold on. Just answer my question for me, brother. If I say, look, it ain't gonna be any remaining, what does that mean? There is not gonna be none left. It ain't gonna be none left. But, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There shall be not any remaining. There shall be not any remaining. Of the house of Esau. Of the what? Of the house of Esau. Of the house of Esau. The Lord said there's not gonna be any remaining, any more descendants of the house of Esau. Read. For the Lord has said. Spoken no, we have spoken. For the Lord, Lord has spoken. spoken. Man has spoken. For the Lord, Lord has spoken. That's just for Lord, brother. So, how do you feel about that? How you feel about that? I, I think that's, that's kind of spot on. That's kind because of, that's why they're so goddamn uh, aggressive. Because they're scared of their race. Of this right, that's right. But, so, okay. So let me go what, back. Hold on. Let me go back to your original yeah, question. You okay, I'm, I'm gonna let you go. Okay, let me say this real quick. So going back to your first question, you said why? You said uh, we're supposed to love our neighbor, right? But I asked you if I loved you, would I kill you and your whole family, no. exterminate you? The Lord said He's not gonna kill uh, Esau. He's not talking about the actual man Esau. He's talking about his descendants. It said the house of Esau. He's gonna exterminate. Them. It's not gonna be not any remaining. So does that sound like love? No, it don't sound like love. Cause it's not, but brother. Then again, it goes back to where. Well, you can't say the Bible. I like, I, I believe in the Bible, but I, who says I break? I, 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 um, religion is right. What you mean? Cause. Christianity won't even, it's not, it, it was like, what, three, four hundred years after the birth of Christ? Right, but this is the thing, though. We not, hold on. You, say you got Muslims, uh, right. it's all coming, I like, let me say something. That, you know, right, let me show you something. And then I, hold on, no, I don't know. I, and then I seen on YouTube that a pastor 
had died and, and he had went to God. And God said that he was going to hell because he was following Christianity. Like, you know, that is not right. But my main question is, what do y'all think uh, prophecy and everything about the Bible is going on in Israel? What do y'all think about everything? What's going on right now? What's going on right now in Israel? That's a good question. That's, that's Bible prophecy, right? Uh, but before we get to that, I want to inform you because you said that, so the brother said that uh, you were talking about Christianity. So this is not Christianity. Christianity is literally a religion that was created by the so-called white people, right? What we doing right here is not Christianity. These scriptures have been around for thousands of years before the religion Christianity came about. So this is not Christianity, right? This is not even a religion, right? So we literally teaching our people that the so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans, our heritage goes back to the Bible. Because we fit the prophecies in the Bible. And we literally telling our people that in these last days, they have to repent and they have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments because that's our heritage, right? So this is not a religion, right? We're just bringing our people back to their true identity. Because if I was to ask you, who was your race or your ethnicity? Who would you tell me? Definitely black, uh, black African, I mean, uh, black American. Right, you can't be a black American. Yeah, right. You can't be an African. All these are modern day terms that our oppressors have put upon us. And even that is a prophecy in the Bible. One of the curses the Lord said when we went in, uh, into captivity would be uh, our oppressors would give us proverbs and bywords, right? Because the Lord never called us African American. Remember, the Lord called us the 12 tribes and the children of Israel, right? So, who would your father's ethnicity be? Would he be a so-called black man? Your no. father? That's right. But I'm trying to see, like, would he consider himself an African-American? I mean, he'll put that down on his application. Okay, so according to the Bible, you would be an Israelite, but more specifically, you would be from the tribe of Judah. Right. right? If your father is a so-called black man, an African-American, right? Right? And that's the same tribe that Christ came from, right? Right? So you would be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, right? Now the brother also asked, right, about the things that's going on in Israel right now. Good question. And, that, and that's a good question because that literally goes, and hey, we was bringing that out earlier, matter of fact, right? So matter of fact, let's get, uh, uh, let's get your will, chapter 3 and verse 9. Unless you had a precept. Um, I was just going to show the book of Malachi where it was written. Yeah, let's go to uh, Joel 3 and 9. So we go going to show you the things that's happening in Israel and even the things that happened between Russia and Ukraine. Mm -hmm. All this is Bible prophecy that was prophesied thousands of years ago. Right? So read that Joel 3 and 9. The book of Joel chapter 3 and verse 9. Mm -hmm. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Bring it out loud. Prepare war. Right, so the Lord said, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. In this context, the Gentiles is talking about the other nations, right? Like uh, the, the people that's in Ukraine, the people that's in uh, Palestine, the Russians, the, uh, the Israelis, all these other nations, right? So he told the other nations to do what? Prepare war! So the Lord said in these last days, all these other heathen nations, all these Gentile nations, they gonna prepare war, read. Uh, wake up the mighty men. He said, What? Wake up the mighty men. Right, read. Let all the men of war draw near. And that's what you're saying right now in the so called Middle East. You're saying all the, the militaries and the, uh, uh, yeah, all the militaries and the armies and the nations gather together for war, right? Read on. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords. Right, read. And your pruning hooks into spears. Right, read. Let the weak say, I am strong. Right, read on. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen. All ye what? All ye heathen. What are the Israelis? All ye heathen. What are the Palestinians? All ye heathen. What are the Russians? All ye heathen. Lord said, all ye heathen gather together for war, read. And gather yourselves together round about. Right, read on. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O right. Lord. Read. Let the heathen be awakened. Let the what? Let, Let the, the heathen, heathen be, be awakened. awakened. Right, and this heathen being awakened, that's going into what you call World War III. So all these other nations are fighting to see who's going to be the next world power, right? You know, 
and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Right, read. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen. So the Lord said he go judge all the heathen. Remember, we just read in Obadiah, the Lord said the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Why is that? Because the Lord said as they have done to his chosen people, the Lord is going to do the same thing to them. So all these other nations destroy God's chosen people. So in these last days, the Lord is going to destroy all these other nations. Read. Uh, there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Right, read. Put ye in the sickle. Right. For the harvest is ripe. Right, read on. Come, get you down. For the press is full. Right, read. The fats overflow. Uh -huh. For the wickedness is great. Right, read. Multitude, multitude. The Lord said these, what? Multitude, multitude. Like I said, these multitudes and these multitudes is talking about the armies and the militaries of these other nations gathered together for warfare, right? Like you said about Israel, right? You see the Israelis and the people from Gaza, they shooting missiles at each other, right? You got them taking uh, each other hostages. They killing little kids. They blowing up hospitals. Why are these things happening? Because this is the judgment that the Lord is bringing upon. And then one of the prophecies is like all nations will be pointing at Israel. But, so, I mean, but, but you saying that. Right, but, hold on, let's finish this real quick. Okay. I got you, let's finish this real quick. It's a little bit more than that. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Right? And let me get, that was it on that. Let me get Matthew uh, 24. Right, before you do that. Go ahead. So, I mean, I, I, we are the chosen ones, but in this day and world, I mean, you know, I, I have a drug problem. I'm a bitch. Is and like we we are our own fucking victim, bro. Like, so are you saying all black people are gonna be saved just because we black? No, because that definitely. Hold on, but that's. I done seen the devil more out of my own people than okay. I seen white people. But to answer your question, that's not what we're saying at all, right? Mm -hmm. Just because, just because you an Israelite, that don't mean you getting salvation, yeah. right? So let me get on. Um, let me get uh, Amos nine and ten. Because I think we are our, our own big, I mean, our worst victim. Right. Right. Have y'all been around Let me get Amos. Let me get Amos on the table. Right. So let me show you. That's a good though, brother. So we gonna show you. This. So oh, right, right. So the brother asked. He said, he said, just because you an Israelite, or just because you a so-called Black, Hispanic, or Native American, do that automatically mean you getting salvation? No, it do not. And we gonna show you that. Let me get that. The book of Amos, chapter 9 and verse 10. Right. All the sinners of my people. So the Lord said, all the sinners of my people. Brother, do you know what sin is? Yeah. What is sin? Um, Going against the Ten Commandments, I guess. Well, that's good. Going against not only the Ten Commandments, because in the Bible it's more than Ten Commandments, mm -hmm. but going and breaking all the commandments, right? Breaking yeah. any commandments. Yeah. So if you break any commandments, you are a sinner in the eyes of the Lord. Yeah. So finish reading that. Uh, all the sinners of my people. So the Lord said, all the uh, sinners, all the, the Israelites of my people that break my commandments, what's going to happen to them? Shall die by the sword. Shall what? Shall die by the sword. Now they're going to get salvation. Shall die by the sword. They're going to be delivered. Shall die by the sword. The Lord said, if you an Israelite, if you're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, you're going to die by the sword. So just because you're an Israelite, that don't mean you're getting salvation. Let me get Matthew 24 and verse uh, 13. Okay, so... Hold on, let me, I'm going to finish asking your question. Let me get Matthew 24 and verse 13. Well, while he's doing that, let me just say this. Okay, so, you know, so I, you know, I just had a rebound, right? Okay. You know, I, 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 I go to the church, and I'm, I'm not even from the church. And they are so... I mean, they see, I guess they see my whole like I'm a good person. <laughs> like, they just seem like the wolves come out of like everybody want to attack. Like, let's, let's take advantage. Like, let, let's, I don't know, it's like a swarm, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very smart. I ain't book smart, but I'm like kind of sense smart, super smart. So, like, I see it like, but. 
See, like, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm tripping too much because I play to my advantage. I act, I act like I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you can get there, there. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's just like, I see why, why you know, I mean, I even hate to say this. Like, I see why white people stay away from All black people ain't like that. But the majority that I see downtown kicking out the decks, we are so fucked up and so gone, like, it's going to take another 400 years to, I don't know, man. Not that long. Not I, yeah, we, I, I definitely don't think Hold so. on, not, not necessarily. I see what you're saying, but that's why the Lord got us out here for our people in these last days. Mm -hmm. We out here to wake up our people, right? Mm -hmm. Let me get, um, let me get, um, Isaiah 1 and 9, right? So me being like that, do that. Do that give me a chance of getting heaven? You think? Like, you know what I'm saying? Even though I see you taking advantage or, you know, I still be kind-hearted and giving. All right. So we're going to break it down for you real quick because I don't want to interrupt, but we got to shut down in a few minutes. I understand that. But, um, I mean, if you want to talk. I, I definitely got to get you out of the bar. So yeah, yeah. We can, matter of fact, I got you right here. Be motivated. Oh, yeah. Give it to you. Um, praise. So yeah, if you scan that Q and R code on the back, mm -hmm. right? It take you to our YouTube channel, right? Cool. And uh, we be out here usually every Friday. Every Friday, I see yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So come chop it up. If you see it, yeah, come chop it up with me, right? But uh, yeah, we gonna have to shut it down in a few minutes. We are gonna give you a few more, right? So give me that um, Isaiah one and nine. The book of Isaiah chapter one and verse nine. Right. Except the Lord of hosts. Has left us a very small remnant. So the Lord said in these last days, He left a very small remnant. So that means, like you said, do that means just because you an Israelite, do that mean you automatically gain salvation? No, that don't mean that. But the Lord said in these last days, my G. Yes, sir. The Lord said in these last days, only a few of us gonna get salvation. So the Lord has chosen a certain elect of, of the Israelites. To receive salvation, and I think you're born with it. It's like in your heart, like, right? No matter what, I can't, I can't be bad because I got a conscience, like, right, to be good to my neighbor. Right. Black, white, brown, Chinese. Well, we're not telling you to just go around and just disrespect and be mean to everybody just because I can't be mean, it's right? Not in my neighborhood. But I'm just saying, you have to have the conscience. You have to realize who your enemies are in these last days. You but have be to kind of my enemy. Right, but hold on. Listen, we're not saying that. Look, the Lord said in these last days, mm. wisdom shall be the stability of your times. Right? He said you have to be wise as a serpent mm. and harmless as a dove. So we're not telling you just to go around and just to, you know, uh, just to disrespect and be rude to everybody just because. So when I'm at when I'm at work, I have to work with other nations sometimes. Mm. I'm not gonna say, man, you a damn devil according yeah. to the Bible. I have to use wisdom. But when you get I'm out play, of here, hold on, like hold on. That, but let me finish. I'm going to play my role. I'm going to do what I got to do. But I'm not just going to just, you know, just disrespect nobody. When we come out here on these streets, we have to teach our people the truth for boldness. Right? So our people have to understand who their enemy is in these last days. Right? So uh, finish that up. And we're going to give you a couple more. Because uh, I know you was talking about salvation. Yeah. Right, so read that. Except the Lord of hosts right. has left us, has left unto us a very small remnant. Right. We should have been as Sodom and, and, and we should have been like unto the Lord. Right, so unless the Lord have left a very small remnant, which is what you see right here right now, we would have been out here and been just like everybody else. Hey, if the Lord didn't put the spirit on us to come out here and teach our people, we would have been out here smoking weed. Right. Drunk, robbing people, selling drugs to people, prostituting uh, these females. We would have been partaking in all the wickedness that happened on these streets. But the Lord said he left a small remnant. So the Lord put the spirit on us to come out here and teach our people how to walk on a righteous path, right? But, so, okay, I understand that. Uh -huh. But I think y'all get more audience if y'all would be devil. It's not about not, the audience. Not, 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 right. This is not, but like, not, but you, that's, right. the, you see, that's the reason why. Right. Right. Hold on. That's the reason why I ain't came out here because right. it, it, I see more hate than I see love right. from y'all. Let me get, let me get John ten twenty seven. We go give, we go give two more, then we go have to wrap. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, I'm gonna ask you a question on one more. Yeah. So, so like I said, because we can answer your question. If you go be out here. 
Friday, right? Every Friday, Saturday. Right, so yeah, so we can chop it up with you, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I do you know where Devolve is? Devolve, Devolve. I think so, yeah. I'm being kind of a... Satan take it away, the way you know that Mark 414, you see that? Yep. Satan.